wide receiver Bill Collins. Y'all fire away questions whenever you're ready. Oh yeah, it, we, we definitely had a, a good connection. Um, basically, the passes that I got in the game were the exact same passes that I got in practice, man, this past week. A um, couple of the curl routes that I ran, uh, we had talked about it after practice, just where I would be, like if there was whole defenders there, and like finding the zones and things like that, especially against the Georgia Tech, they played a lot of zone defense. So just finding the zone and being on the same page was key for us last week, for sure. Mm -hmm. was it basically with one hand? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, it was kind of in between her. I was trying to stick my hands out to catch it like that. But then I saw the DB was right on me and had his hands in there. So I had to kind of like cradle it one hand and uh, just, just finish the play. It was a tough one to make. It was harder than it, it looked for sure. <laughs> Oh, man, just trying to finish for our seniors. That's the biggest thing right now, man, just sending them out on a good note. Um, we could, like Coach Sweeney has been preaching to us, we could finish as one of the hottest teams in the country, especially with the teams that we have to play. With that being Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, they had a great offense coming into that game. And this week we have a, a pretty tough matchup. So if we if we went out, man, it would be special for our seniors to go out on that note. So that's been our main focus, just – Everybody digging in deep, putting our heads down and going to work. Um, I really just say it's the trust that we've built so far, man. Um, just all the work we put in over the summer. He he knows where I'm going to be at majority of the time. I know where the ball is going to be placed. Um, and I just really appreciate him for kind of designated me as like that go-to guy on third and fourth down, man. He he just, he has a lot of confidence in me and I, I really appreciate it. Me and Coach Sweeney just talking about um, the pick, obviously, in another mm -hmm. day game where you yeah. off your hands. Like, mm -hmm. how, how tough was that moment? And how yeah. do you move past that? Oh, yeah, it was a tough moment for sure. That happened to me freshman year, man, I probably would have crumbled mid-game, but um, just going through the things that we've gone through and specifically, specifically that I've gone through so far in my college career, man, it's just one of those plays, things like that happen. Uh, you try your best not for it to happen, and especially this year, we, we've had a tough go around with turnovers and things like that, so uh, it was pretty tough, but uh, in the game, guys were doing a good job encouraging me, coaches telling me on the next play, and uh, I was able to come up with another third down conversion, basically next drive after that. So uh, it's just having a, like Coach Sweeney always says, windshield mentality, man. It's, there was a lot of ball left to play in that game, and I couldn't let a play like that affect me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely had an effect on us just going out there, um, kind of like taking that freedom away from us just to go out there and focus on balling out. But um, just through practice and uh, encouragement from our coaches, really, it really helped us get over that hump and just focus on doing our job, being where we're supposed to be, knowing the details and things like that, and all the, the turnovers to take care of yourself. Um, I just say situational awareness. Um, there's a lot of plays that we know he can make with his legs and just him being able to do that when we need it is it, very key. And uh, he's, I feel like he's becoming more comfortable in the pocket. Um, just trust the old line, man. Those dudes, they work hard up there. So he, he has a lot more trust in them, just getting more comfortable in this offense and um, really just, I say situational awareness is the biggest thing for, with him. And he's doing a great job with that. Mm -hmm. 
remember the hit that should have took at NC yeah. State. Um, mm-hmm. Were you on the field and kind of what was that? Yeah. Like? Yeah, I was literally on that side. That was the corner that was guarding me. I had like ran him off. Um, Ship was fighting for extra yards and he like, I don't know why he even did that. It was not much yard, more yardage that Ship could have gotten on that play. So he, he had like came crashing down. I was standing right there and uh, it was a tough thing to watch just to see my brother laying down like just hurting, man. It, it was tough um, for sure. But it was one of them plays where it's just like, dang, why do I play this sport? Like football is one of the most violent sports out there. So it, it was definitely tough to see. Oh yeah, yeah. Ship's a fighter, man. He he's not gonna back down from anything. And I could tell the week after he came back and was cleared and practice, he he was on a mission, man, to just get back in that mode and show people that he's not going anywhere, really. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I definitely could tell in practice. Um, he he just had a intensity that. Uh, we normally didn't see from him. He's usually like a uh, like uplifting guy during practice, a lot of energy. But first couple of days back in practice, he was locked in, not really saying much, doing his job full speed, like running to the end zone every every play. He touched the ball, so yeah, he was definitely in a different mode. Uh, you talked about the fact that Paul about the weight bars game. Uh-huh. You saw him like stretch yeah. that. Was it like oh, the yeah. same kind of intensity? Like yeah. Oh yeah, it was it was definitely the same type of intensity. I wouldn't say to to that degree because game mode ship is completely different, but uh, it was pretty close. What was he like that during the, mm-hmm. the last game? Like, yeah. Say that was- oh yeah, he he had a lot of fun, man. He I could tell he just had a different appreciation for the game. You know, anytime one of us miss a game, we uh, just come back hungrier, and I I could see it for sure. Even on his touchdown run that he had, he it probably took everything in him to stay in bounds and just reach out, but he, he got it done. Oh man, it, it's been amazing. Uh, honestly, I didn't feel like we went anywhere really, but uh, we were just like taking a little break, but I, I feel like we're back now for sure, man. And and the guys that they're bringing in and guys that we have in the room right now are going to, I have no doubt that we're going to just uphold that standard and uh, make the guys before us proud, really. That's that's my main goal with that. That was one of the craziest plays I've ever seen with my own eyes. But uh, I, I feel like I've I seen that in him in practice. Uh, he has great hands, uh, amazing speed, and all the above. So it, it was surprising to see that it happened the way it did. But uh, at the same time, I'm like, that's Tyler Brown. What can't happen with him? So, mm-hmm. yeah, picture's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of rice, rice buckets, uh, a lot of grip strength, grip workouts that we do over here in the weight room. Uh, I just saw it all come to play. What is it about him that everybody seems to gravitate to, and how has he garnered so much respect? Shoot, I just say <clears throat> he's the same guy day in and day out, man. He he comes in with the biggest smile on his face. He, I've never seen him have a bad day really. Um, he's just a ball of energy. Um, comes in. You know, if you see somebody down one day, he'll make sure that it's his mission to go sit with him at the table, talk to him, and uh, we're, we're just gonna miss a guy like that for sure, man. Just he's he's like the backbone of our group, I'd say. Anybody else? Appreciate y'all.